Greetings fellow earthlings. Thank you for joining me again on Let It Go and Breathe Easy. This is Austin with Let It Go Junk Removal. Today's episode is not necessarily about junk removal, but it is about my pressure washing rig. I mentioned it a little bit in the last or one of the last videos called Maintenance With Me. You can check it out. I'll put a link right here. Basically, I got a trailer going. I got two pressure washers. I got a 275 gallon tank and I got a 60 PSI pump to uh, pump all the water to the washers. I'm gonna show you exactly what I use to put the trailer together, exactly what parts, what hoses, what pumps, what batteries, what tank. It's gonna be the most efficient setup that you've ever seen. What's up fellow earthlings? Me and Richard are clearing off this trailer here in my yard. This was my dad's trailer and uh, this is some wood that he was gonna spin on a lathe and he still is. But I convinced him to let us have it or buy it from him for the uh, new pressure washing rig because the other smaller trailer that was in my last video was just too weak to hold the water. So yeah, we're gonna transform this trailer instead. Check out these cool mushrooms, guys. Eat one. Yeah, that's where the Smurfs live right there. That was the Smurfs village before we just tore it apart. I feel like Gargamel. Alrighty, so I just got the all clear from my pops to get rid of the wood that I think is just trash and ruined from uh, being outside under a tarp and uh, keep whatever may be good. It's all hardwood, so there might be some good wood in there, but there's a lot of ants crawling around. Here, I'll show you right now. I mean, this is just on the surface and these ants are already like, ah, help me, they're about to destroy our home. After we were done taking all the wood off of that trailer and sorting through it, we pulled the trailer up to the front of my property and we pressure washed it. After we were done pressure washing it, I painted on uh, some deck paint, uh, some protective paint. So it was like a stain. I got it for free from a junk removal. It was a gallon of protective deck staining and basically I did the whole gallon on it. As you can see right here, it turned it basically like a dark or bright orange reddish color. This is gonna make the trailer last a lot longer so we can make more money with it in the long run. What's up fellow earthlings? This is Austin again with Let It Go and we're working on this trailer again today. You saw us stain the uh, wood the other day to make it waterproof and rainproof and uh, just last a lot longer for us. Now we are putting some new lights. Richard's wiring some new lights underneath. So we actually took the bottom of a computer chair, as you can see. That's the bottom of a computer chair. And this is what it slides into. We welded it right on the corner here. We're gonna be able to slide this computer chair right into that hole. We had to uh, reconfigure some holes on the bottom of the reel to match up with the chair. So now we have some holes that will match up and we'll be able to attach this to that and we'll have a swivel uh, pressure washing hose reel attached. We'll have brand new lights, LEDs, and we'll probably uh, get it painted black and paint the reel. What's up fellow earthlings, here we are back again. So we're working on this uh, pressure washing rig trailer, trailer rig, yeah, my rig gig. Anyway, so this is a new pad that we got. These are what we're gonna be using to basically smooth out everything and before we paint it. So yeah, here we go.
Okay, yeah, so we just had to take a bath because this rust and paint and all the grinding dust was just all over our faces and in our eyes. Even, even though we were wearing protection, it still got in over the top and underneath. Boom, I got it all taped up and it's ready to paint. Just finished painting the gold stripes on the trailer. So now it's dry and I'm gonna take the tape off and see how these beautiful gold stripes look. Bam, and the tape is off. Gold lines look fantastic. I'm super happy with the uh, outcome. Just wanted to give the trailer a little bit of class. And now it has it. There's a lot more work to be done on this thing. Have to add the water tank, the pressure washers, the pump, the uh, battery, and get it all connected to where it's really efficient and easy for us to pull up and bang stuff out. Stay tuned to see how we do that. Hey guys, so I'm just here prepping this trailer, getting it ready for sale. I'm going to sell it for a couple of hundred bucks and make some money back from um, buying the whole pressure washer setup for 1200 or 1300 bucks is what I paid for the whole setup. The pressure washer, the tank, the uh, sweepers, the two sweepers, a hundred foot hose, a trailer, um, and a couple of different tips and another wand. So. I'm going to sell this trailer because we're going to use that other trailer that I showed you. I'm going to paint it up and I'm going to show you how much I sell it for. And uh, yeah, let's get going. Alright, so just a little tip when you're painting any trailer before you get to the lights. Um, it's, it's even good to do this before you start painting. Um, so you just tape off the uh, trailer lights there with some masking tape. Just like this. I'm going to go right along the edge of the plastic so that you don't hit any of that clear orange with the uh, black paint that you paint trailers or whatever or whatever other color you're using to paint your trailer. So this is definitely an important step to make sure you do a nice clean job. The better you do it, the more money you can sell the trailer for. I've done several flips like this where I just, uh, I get a trailer for really cheap that looks like crap and then I paint it off, make it look good, make sure it's nice and safe and sell it for several hundred more. Quick flips, quick tips. And there you have it. I painted the railings and I put some new wood in there so the trailer looks nice and fresh. I'm gonna do one more thing tomorrow before I post it and that is paint these rims. Um, maybe like a bright color or something, make them pop. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and sell it for a couple of hundred bucks. Let's see how much I can get for it. So what I'm doing right now is taking my toolbox off of my big red truck here. I'm gonna take this Husky toolbox off and I'm gonna mount it on the uh, side of this trailer. And there is our pressure washing trailer. So it's almost done. As you could tell, I've got both pressure washers set up and we've got both hoses um, set up to our 60 PSI pump. We also have a battery in there and we installed a switch to turn the pump off and on. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and just run you through how we set this trailer up for success and to make some serious good money with this uh, pressure washing rig. It's not completely done yet. There are still a few finishing touches we need to do on this trailer to get it done, but it's looking pretty good. So let's get into it. This is our uh, toolbox here that we installed on the side and we ran everything, uh, the pump and electricity through here. So this pump is basically gonna be mounted on the wall like so, just like that. And as you can see, the water is coming in this side of the pump and that hose is coming directly out of the tank here. It's a 275 gallon water tank that we have on here. It's coming directly out of there, going into the toolbox. 
through the pump and out the other side uh, in that hose and then down that hole there which is going out the bottom of the toolbox and into our little uh, switch setup. So these switches are going to be specific for certain uses. This one here we're going to hook a house hose up to for whenever we need to use house water uh, to do our driveways and whatever else we're pressure washing. So we just hook it straight up here. The water will go in here and out these two switches here to my pressure washers. Boom. So at that point we would have this one closed off and we would have this one closed off which goes back to our pump or back to our um, yeah this goes back to our pump so we're gonna go ahead and block that one off block this one off and our garden hose goes here water goes in and out these two hoses to our pressure washers so we never have to move our pressure washers off the trailer we just have to bring the hose to it and then what we do from there is just hook the pressure washers up to the reel we're going to have a second reel installed on that side for that pressure washer um, but this is typically what it's going to look like 100 foot hose on a pressure washer there's going to be a four foot hose that connects into here to the reel and then we can pull out 100 foot of hose to pressure wash whatever we need um, as i said before i've already got i got this new um, tongue welded on it's a two and five sixteenths tongue so that's going to help us to just kind of put the trailer on and off a lot quicker because it's the same ball size as all my other trailers now I hate changing balls out, so I like stuff to be efficient. Um, so then we've got our extra hose there that we bring with the garden hose. We're actually gonna hang some, uh, I'm gonna weld some hooks to these, and that way we could just hang the hose right there on the um, 275 gallon water tank. Uh, we're gonna, we got our whisper washer here, which can wash a driveway in about 30 minutes. And this setup is basically the most efficient setup that you're gonna get with a pressure washing system. This is not heated pressure washers, guys. Um, I have two identical 3800 PSI DeWalt pressure washers, and they both work fantastic. All right. <clears throat> so I already explained to you that the water was going in one side of the pump, out the other side of the pump, into the pressure washers. So. If we wanted to run our water off of the tank, the 275 gallon tank, which we will be doing that every once in a while when we wash cars or RVs or anything else that needs our own water. Um, what we do is just turn this switch on and we turn the garden hose switch off and we leave this other switch off as well. That's just gonna be like a rinse hose, this little spot here, we hook a, a rinse hose up to that and we can use that to rinse the driveway or whatever else. So yeah, to use the tank water, we just shut this guy on and leave these guys on, turn these two guys off, and the water will come from the tank into the two hoses and to a pressure washer. So this is a dual system setup, guys. We can either hook a, a hose up to it from a house or we could hook the uh, water from our tank up to the pressure washers and get it done either way. The battery here um, hooks right up to our quick disconnect here that we have on the pump just in case the pump ever goes bad we just disconnect it replace it and keep going um, so we have our wires hooked up to the battery all we have to do is take these two wires um, I have to get the connectors for this and just connect it to the switch here so this is our switch and it's on the outside of the box that way we could just boop, turn our pump off and on and uh, yeah that's our pressure washing rig guys I hope uh, you learned something from this video, and I know it's not junk removal related, but this is entrepreneurial stuff, guys. I built this pressure washer rig for about 2000 bucks total, and this is all stuff I was buying here and there and there and here and stuff that I saved from removals, um, and in the end, this is what the trailer looks like. It's gonna make us well over 2,000 bucks um, in the first couple of uses. Also, stay tuned for the next video, guys. You'll see this Connex delivered and transformed into my office. It's probably gonna take a couple of videos to actually get it to the end product, but I'm excited. You should be excited too because there are a lot of entrepreneurial tips and things that I'm gonna teach you during these videos. 
of just making things more efficient, having systems and putting good habits into place to keep your business running smooth all year long. I hope everybody's doing well out there today and I hope that you enjoyed this video. Just remember that the average millionaire has seven streams, guys, seven streams of income. And that is what I'm trying to get to is seven streams of income and not necessarily seven streams, but really as many streams as it takes to make me a millionaire. That's my goal, that's my motivation, and that's what I'm going after. So I am glad that you guys have been with me for part of this journey. If you're just joining in, hit that subscribe button down below. You're gonna love this channel. I love Star Wars, so for all you nerds out there, <laughs> I'm a nerd too. I ordered my own lightsaber for my birthday not too long ago. I'm going to be doing an unpacking video about that lightsaber on fam life. I'll put a link down below for fam life. It's my second channel. Fam life is about what I'm doing when I'm not doing the junk removal channel or the entrepreneurial stuff that I show on this channel.